What's going on everybody? This is Deshaun Johnson for DeshaunJohnson.com and in today's video, if you are a web designer, developer, I got some great news for you. Now, before I get into this great news, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos out there that actually talks about what I'm about to talk about, but I'm going to try to add something unique and something different to this topic uh, if you already didn't know about several of these things already. So without further ado, let's get into them. We're going to talk about five, count them five, methods that you as a web designer developer can actually make passive income in your profession especially if you were a well definitely if you're a freelance web designer developer going the indie route what have you um I actually originally made this video. Um, the audio got jacked up. I don't know if I actually saved it. It's just a video file without audio. But anyway, another opportunity to re-record this and provide some special information. There is one special method I'm actually going to add to this. But let's go ahead and jump right into the methods. Method number one. You want to create you a WordPress theme. Okay. You want to create you a WordPress theme that's going to be, be able to be sold on ThemeForest and other big marketplaces um, as a web designer developer. Now, I actually have a resource that I plan on doing videos here later in the future showing you how to use this resource, but it's actually by the great Chris Corrier himself. It's called Digging Into WordPress, all right? And I'm actually going to, I should have a, a link or copy of the of picture of this video to show up like right here but the link's gonna be in the description it is an affiliate link so if you do click on you decide to get it uh, i do get a commission for that so i just want to go ahead and be upfront about it but with this resource it actually goes really in depth it goes into detail from start to finish the basics of what it takes to actually create an actual wordpress website from scratch um one of the things that i actually love to specialize in is actually using css3 to make customizations to already existing templates it's just easier um but when i need to actually do something that's just completely original then this resource is, is going to be the go-to for me so i actually own this book i own it in ebook format they actually have a nice physical product it, it looks great on an act I don't actually have a physical product. I actually had an ebook. But if you're somebody that actually needs print, then this color coordinated book is going to be for you. So you want to be able to create your own WordPress template and just create a bunch of them. And as you get better, you want to go ahead and sell them on marketplaces or you can sell them on your own website and just do your own marketing and have dry traffic to it and, and have customers be able to select, you know, your complete work, customized WordPress themes as just something unique and original for them. So that's one method right there. So don't forget to click in the link if you want that resource and to teach yourself how to actually create uh, WordPress sites and templates originally from scratch. Number two, you want to sell graphics, logo type templates. Um, this is kind of the same way that you want to sell uh, or put up your WordPress themes templates on a big marketplace uh, you can actually create some nice stock photography if you're if you're not only just a web designer developer um, you can actually you're a photographer also in addition to that who specializes in using photoshop and adobe illustrator you can go ahead and you can create a bunch of images maybe icon sets wherever what have you uh, create these digital products and you could also put them for sale on a big marketplace maybe pexel p-e-x-e-l uh I'll, I'll put the link down in the description for that as well um stock photography and, and just other bunch of websites that you can possibly google right now but that's also another technique so you want to be able to create images i know roberto blake actually just created a starter youtube thumbnail starter kit uh he sells as a digital package and there's a bunch of people that actually has purchased that starter kit because there's a lot of people that they just don't know photoshop and they don't know where to get started when creating uh, thumbnails fortunately i do have skills in photoshop um i haven't actually created any logos or templates myself but i've seen other people do it and i thought i'd just pass that information on down to you as well if you're wondering how to actually sell um products digital products as a web designer developer Number three, sell someone else's products through affiliate links. Um, kind of the same thing that I actually just did in the first part where I actually advise you to go ahead and create WordPress templates and I offer Chris Corey's Digging Into WordPress book. You can actually do the same thing with affiliate links, okay? Um, 
that's pretty much it. You're, you're recommending, you're sharing products that you use with other people, uh, maybe making some tutorials on how to actually use those products so they'll be very useful to that person, et cetera, et cetera. So that's something else that you want to do. So websites you can actually, well, pretty much a lot of websites, companies, they offer an affiliate program. So you want to just usually scroll down to the bottom of that company and see if they are actually offering an affiliate program. I know that you can actually go directly to the Digging Into WordPress website. I'll put a link into the description for that as well. And you can actually join the affiliate program. You got Amazon, you have ClickBank, um, you have Commission Junction. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot of affiliate programs you can join. So that's also another method. Uh, Google AdSense, this is a bonus. You sign up for Google AdSense. You have your own website. You blog. You can actually attach your Google AdSense code to a lot of the blogs that you're doing. So it's basic stuff, and I'm pretty sure you know it, but I just thought I'd go ahead and talk about it anyway, just in case these are things you forgot or things that you really didn't have any idea about. So that will be method number three number four um the fourth method is that and this is another template type method you want to create basic html5 and css3 um front end web templates okay uh you can also and, and there's a lot of free css3 but there's also paid css3 um i want to say type of animations code um effects functions that people and other web developers actually sell through their website when i'm actually looking for some css3 code to do a certain effect on a website um usually those things aren't even offered for free there's web developers that they they give you like uh, just a little bit they give you just a taste and then if you want the full features of that css3 code you have to actually pay to get that upgraded so that's also another method too as well so selling some sort of like basic front-end html5 css3 template is also a thing if you make it super unique uh, i know they have things like bootstrap where you can actually download a bunch of html5 css3 template but sometimes those things just look the same and if you want something premium you want to create something original for your target audience then this is another good way to go if you're not specialized in doing wordpress php and that becomes a little bit too difficult to create then this is also another great route to do just create you some html code fill it with some dummy text um demonstrate your web skills the type of effects you can actually add the functionality to making a website really just pop and interactive and that's also another method you can also if you're special and great at javascript that's something you can also add it's the holy trinity html5 css3 um javascript how many s's did i add? i think i added three s's but css3 um but the holy trinity is just, just those three things so yeah do that find a marketplace to sell it and you should be also good to go as well. And number five, my secret sauce, my special method. Well, I'm pretty sure somebody else has thought about it too, but this is something I actually um, incorporate into my own web design development business, okay? My own web design development practice. You can actually make a passive income off your clients. Yes, that is correct. You don't have to just provide a service you can also make passive income off of your clients, okay? How do you do this is the big question. How are you gonna make passive income off of your clients? Well, the, the key word I'm going to use in this is negotiate, okay? Instead of just sitting up here and stressing about getting a upfront, this big lump sum payment from your clients or monthly payments from them or installments, um, you can actually offer, negotiate some terms and conditions of your services and you can actually offer to do their website for free but i want certain real estate on your website i want certain space to be able to advertise a product a business to be able to partner and block and to be able to add adsense and say i have a say so in this website OK, you can actually negotiate those terms. I've done it with uh, with a lot of my clients actually all the way because a lot of my clients weren't actually able to pay me. So I negotiated some terms and conditions to where I offered to be able to advertise and to be able to use some some of their website space to um, sell my own products, uh, put my own Google AdSense and that sort of thing onto their website as well. So with an agreement that I have some part of ownership with their website that I look at it as a partnership, um, it actually works out. It actually works out and whatever traffic. So I'm leveraging whatever traffic they get. 
Okay, I'm leveraging whatever traffic that they get. And you may ask me, well, what if that, that client doesn't really get in web traffic, or anything like that? Well, try to help them and teach them, educate them how they could build their web traffic. You know, give them some value, show them some value as a web developer, not just as a somebody that's just a, a contractor, uh, indie person just looking to just build websites and be done with them you know if you if that's if that's you just want to build websites for that person and be done with it move on to the next project that's great that's awesome but if you're looking to build passive income you're trying to do it off of your web clients then this is also going to be a surefire way for you to get that done as well and ladies and gentlemen those are the five strategies methods in order to make passive income as a web designer developer um, if there's anything that you've learned off this video you want more information feel free to hit me in the comment section below inbox me what have you uh, you can follow me on twitter at deshaun l johnson or you can go to my website deshaunjohnson.com and you can subscribe to my email list and also have available communication with me as well but the most immediate conversation is always going to be down in the comment section below this video um, that's it um, love talking with you hope you learned something that got some value out of this Deshaun Johnson from DeshaunJohnson.com. God bless you. See you in the next video.